Hi everybody, welcome to a new All of the Above Budget Movie Review. And this time it's time for a new series. A series that, well, brought back 3D in a whole mofo way. Um, yeah, if you were born before the first movie came out, I almost spoiled it, um, you were subjected to another kind of 3D with those red and green glasses. And for this movie, 3D got a whole new upgrade. And since then it's become a gimmick. Uh, but this movie is the OG 3D movie. And I'm talking about Avatar. The first Avatar movie uh, by James Cameron, starring Sam Worthington and Zoe Saldana, was a spectacle. Um, it was the first movie to try a new form of 3D. And you've got uh, sort of sunglasses, but they're totally different. And it was nice watching those movie, that movie, sorry. Um, the first movie, because it's a two part, it's, there's going to be more, uh, James Cameron said, but the first movie is about a group of humans on an alien planet trying to find their special mineral and taking over that planet and there's this guy played by Sam Worthington who gets into a sort of bodysuit that is an avatar uh, he duplicates he goes into a body that is similar to the natives in of that planet and he comes in touch with those natives and he even falls in love with one of those natives and it's full on action. It has a um, kind of um, a message for deforestation uh, going, uh, yeah, going uh, soft on the na on nature. Um, yeah, so it's it's a good movie. It has a deep deeper meaning, and it has wonderful, stunning visuals. The three D, um, which I watched the first time I saw this movie, I was saw it in the cinema, on a huge screen, uh, with my mom, and we totally fell in love with it. Uh, the, those things here, you see them floating around the screen, and when you were there, you thought you could just touch it. Our eyes weren't that used to 3D as it is now, because nowadays mostly every movie has a 3D variant, uh, which some of them use it well, and some of them are just to make the ticket price a bit higher. But here, I just said it. Um, but this movie really s jumped off the screen, literally. And it was uh, one of my favorite movies, and it was a long time. It was 2009 when this one came out, and it took a long time before there was a sequel. And that sequel that uh, came out uh, last year, 2000, oh, this year, 2003, Avatar, The Way of the Water, Way of Water, is another fantastic sequel it picks off picks up a few years after the first one uh, the sam worthington character is now uh, fully navi uh, navi is the tribe that lives on that planet pandora um, he's married he has children um, and he has to save them from the humans who come back to the planet <coughs> It's a full-on action ride. It also has a stunning 3D version. Um, but it didn't, the 3D didn't grab me as much as it did with the first movie. Uh, I think because I got 3D desensitized. 
yeah so um, but this also has a wonderful story it, yeah it goes off where the first one stopped um, I'm wondering what is going to be next because James Cameron the man who makes these movies of these movies said this is the second part of five so there will be three more movies and there are huge ass movies this one is three hours and 12 minutes and the first one is well it's longer <laughs> it's about 170 minutes and i've got the pre uh, i've got the blu-ray with three versions so i've got the original version I've got a version with 45 minutes extra. Um, yeah, and the other one with more extra scenes and making of clips. So, if you want to go watch Avatar, watch them both. Um, hope you enjoy. I'm wondering what you think of Avatar. Let me know down here in the comments. Let me know if you are desensitized 3D too, or you think 3D is the bomb. Let me know. If you want to like, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. And that leads me to say thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.